Welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill. Here I have with me Bill McKendry from Haven. Welcome. Thanks for being here today. Thanks. Appreciate it. So tell me a little bit about Haven and what exactly is it? Yeah, Haven is a, it's a, a technically it's an advertising marketing firm, mm -hmm. uh, but it's more of an idea center, an idea shop. And, uh, and it's actually been on something that's been on my heart for a long time. I used to own Haven McKendry, which was based in Grand Rapids and had offices in, in Colorado. Mm -hmm. uh, my original background started in Colorado where I worked with an agency based out of New York called BBDO. And uh, um, I worked uh, uh, on things like Dodge, American Express, Taco wow. Bell. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where I cut my teeth, right? Sure. <clears throat> and what I what I learned very early on and uh, is that brands just need ideas. They need a lot of fresh ideas, and that's why they go outside, right? Mm -hmm. That's why companies go outside to an agency is to get ideas. And so, the whole concept of you know being an idea center. Um, is, is something that, that a lot of clients are looking for. What I did previously is I built a big agency uh -huh. with, with, uh, with lots of overhead and lots of people, uh, which kind of prices you out of, the, uh, out of a lot of situations. Yeah. Sounds right? great, but yeah. 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 Uh, what I decided to do this time, <laughs> and, and again, I thought of this a long time ago, and I just always have wanted to do it, was instead of having uh, you know, a big agency with lots of overhead, why not have a big network? Mm -hmm. So reduce your overhead, have a big network, pull people in on an as-needed basis. Okay. And so that's the concept of it's called Haven, a creative hub. And so really what we have is, uh, you know, I've generated a lot of contacts now with 30 mm -hmm. years in this business. And to be able to pull people, people who are perfect for their job or perfect for a specific sure. assignment, bring them in on an as-needed basis and then have them go away so they're not built into my overhead so we can actually deliver as big of ideas, if not bigger than mm -hmm. I've always been able to And because to of the web, back. I mean, you don't need, they don't need you to don't be need local. It. And no. Sure. And, I, you know, I tell people the reason I built a big agency before was because the first two clients, the uh, first two questions the clients would have, mm -hmm. right, would, would always say, well, how big is your staff and what's your billings, right? Now... They need to know that you're big enough to yeah, handle that. exactly. And, yeah. Now it's like clients are, they understand creative people like to work remotely. They mm -hmm. don't... They don't like to be tied to a desk. They don't like to sure. be tied to you know, a, a corporation. And so they realize that creative people do work well over the internet. Mm -hmm. They do work well remotely. From their house or wherever exactly. they want, wherever and those creative juices are flowing. Exactly, and so, so based on that, clients are a lot more comfortable with the model of, you know, of being able to pull people in on an as-needed mm -hmm. basis. And so that's the, that's the basic concept and the niche that we fill. Sure. How Haven. many do you have on staff? Like? We have six people on staff, mm -hmm. and I promised my wife I would not grow more than 10. You know? Okay. <laughs> Just save a little bit of wiggle room. To yeah, work yeah. She said, do not go to the 100 <laughs> you know, plus person shop again. You know, sure. It's just, uh, I mean, you, you end up, you end up worrying more it. about overhead mm -hmm. than, you, than you do sometimes. And, and, it, and for me, it drew me further and further away from the client and further and further away from the work. Now, That's a fun thing. Yeah, yeah, I love doing the work, sure. and 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 now we're we're having a lot of fun working with clients directly, and I get to be right there working with them and involved uh -huh. with them, and I think the clients like it. You yeah, know? I would imagine. So, <laughs> speaking of clients, uh, who are some of your clients, and like, kind of what are their, some of the experiences that you've had? Yeah, locally? I mean, you know, I mean, just like on a local basis, we're actually working with a company called Hot Logic locally. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they um, they they make a product that is like uh, you, you can carry it as a portable device. But also have, they also have a shelf unit hmm. where they heat up food instead of using a microwave. Okay. Uh, you know, it's kind of a slow cook thing. Their, their little uh, Hot Logic Mini looks like a little lunch box, mm -hmm. you know, like a thermal lunch box. But it's got a heater in it and it's got a computer ch chip in it that automatically reads the temperature of the food, heats it to, I think it's like 162 degrees, which is food safe, okay. uh, and will hold it there for up to 12 hours. Wow. Right? And, uh, and so there's lots of companies that have, they have like an, a four and sh eight unit shelf that you can mm -hmm. put food on, like frozen entrees, leftovers, whatever it is, pizza. <laughs> yeah. So you're <laughs> and, uh, always looking for where's the fridge, where's yeah. the microwave, where's yeah, the... And yeah. And so like, especially in like on a break room, mm -hmm. you know, uh, people standing in line at the microwave and, or your food exploding or it being <laughs> exactly. half, half cold. Well, this kind of eliminates all that. They, they have a product, they're a small product, the portable one. Um, has over 4,000 reviews on Amazon wow. and a 99.4% uh, approval rating. It's even caught the attention of Amazon.com saying, 
this is a hot little project uh, or maybe product, we need you know. It. You know? Sure. Yeah, so that's that's one thing that we worked on. Okay. We're working with uh, uh, North Ottawa Community Hospital. Mm -hmm. We've also worked with Mercy Hospital uh, locally. We've worked with several other nonprofits in the area. Great. Uh, you know, some of our bigger assignments obviously are from outside of this area. Mm -hmm. You know, we're working on uh, stuff for Museum of the Bible in Washington D.C. and Illuminations, uh, uh, a, a special segment of that. Um, you know, uh, we also work with General Tools out of <laughs> out of New okay. York City. Yeah. We, I mean, we work with. Because well, of my experience, we have I have connections and contacts with a lot of uh, different brands. That's great. Yeah. So you you have a vast or a, a great background in marketing. And yep. I know you're originally from Mona Shore or Norton Shores. Yep. Um, but kind of been all over. What brought you back to Grand Haven? To yeah. What, what was interesting is so my wife and I are high school sweethearts. We uh -huh. met at Mona Shores, and and, uh, <laughs> and uh, we've been together a long time. And uh, and so growing up in Norton Shores, Grand Haven for us. Because I grew up by Hoffmaster State Park, mm -hmm. so Grand Haven was always kind of right there, sure, yeah, you know, right there and real close. Uh, and uh, and so we went from Grand Haven to out to Colorado. I went to the University of Denver out there. Uh, we ended up working out there for a number of years, and then being in advertising and marketing, I thought you know the closest I could get back to the lakeshore was Grand Rapids, and mm -hmm. so ended up moving there, starting a firm there, was very successful. But it was always been our dream to to come back. back to the water. Yeah, we used to, sure. there's a, the road that we live on in Grand Haven. Literally, my wife and I used to drive down when we were 16, oh, wow. yeah. and we'd say, "Man, who can live here? You know, how do you, how do you, how do you get <laughs> here? Uh -huh. You know." And so I tell people we're totally living the dream now. Living the we're, dream. We're, we're back home. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, thanks very much. It's great yeah. to hear about Haven Thank um, you. and about what you do and what you're kind of doing in the community. Yeah, so. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank thanks for being on the show. All right. All right, we're out of time. Thanks for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Dreaming of buying a home? Your local Lakeshore lending team, Envoy Mortgage, is ready to assist you. Call Casey or William at 616-303-0728. Love your home, love your loan. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-Cities since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time.